say it's on. Let me check the oh, oh. Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we're gonna turn and face the east towards Jerusalem, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakhav, Kadash. Right. Yahweh, the true name of the heavenly Father, who the world if we know is God. Yahweh, Shai, the name of His only begotten Son, who the world if we know is Jesus Christ. By Hashem, Rakhav, Kadash is in the name of the Holy Spirit, the inspiration that is given to us to do these uh, these lessons to edify. You know, also double honors to our teachers. The apostles and elders at Great Millstone, okay? And salutation to you, sincere humble brothers, preaching and teaching this word throughout the four corners of the earth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashimi Hawashah, Shalom to the believers who subscribe to this truth. You know, we the Hebrew Israelites come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, known in the scriptures as Babylon, the great spiritually Sodom and Egypt, okay? And also to proclaim the deliverance and salvation of the nation of Israel, particularly the elect, the one-third, starting with the 144,000 great multitude, okay? So Yahweh Shai, whom the world if we know is Jesus Christ, is coming to redeem that elect, right. right? Out of this God-forsaken kingdom, this beast system, which Lord willing, we gonna, you know, touch on it, touch on a little prophecy, because prophecy is the, uh, is the theme, man, all right? Prophecy is the power of the scriptures. Prophecy is what, uh, ultimately points to the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. As he said, his word, all right, will not return unto him, to him void. Okay? So we're going to get uh, Revelation 19 and 10. We're going to open up with that. Also, 2nd uh, uh, Ezra 15. And I won't, also let me get, uh, go ahead, go ahead. This is Revelation 19 and 10. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. Right, and this is John, the revelator, John the divine, the uh, apostle John on the island of Patmos, right? And he fell at the feet of the angel, and the angel said, go ahead. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. Right, don't worship the angels, right? So men are not to worship, worship angels. Okay, go ahead. I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shah. Right. So he had a testimony of Yahweh Shah. And that's exactly what we are here doing. Right? We are here to give you that testimony. Okay? Go ahead. And what's the testimony of Yahweh Shah? It says, Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shah is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. Right? Now what, what what is prophecy? Prophecy means what? To say before. The things that uh, come to pass were already ordained to happen before they happen. Everything in the earth, every major event, every war, you know, every kingdom, major kingdom that been ruled was prophesied to come into power and also fall. Right? Now give me that uh Isaiah 46 and 10. Go ahead. Isaiah 46 and 10. And he reads, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Right. Mm. So this the heavenly father pretty much through the prophet Isaiah saying that he has done what? He's declared uh, uh, the end from the beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning. So if you say something and you tell someone this is the outcome before it ever happens, what you're doing is prophesying. Okay? So the Lord set up men on the earth to prophesy. Right? And he put those words uh, uh, that's written in this very book in the prophet's mouth to say to come back in today's time to break it down to you of what it actually means. Okay? Go ahead with that second answer and go and a brother give me uh, 
Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. So the Lord putting these words in our mouth. Okay? He, he's giving us uh, exactly what to tell the people, you know? And what we ought to tell the people of, you know, I get uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. Go ahead. Uh, Verse 2. And cause them right to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. So what the prophets of old did is just that, you know? They recorded it first and foremost on the scrolls. All right, and then due process of time, we got it in the form of the Bible, mm -hmm. all right? Translated into the English <gasps> through King James, because that's the uh, most accurate version to deal with is the King James uh, version. It's, it's closer to the original scroll text, man, all right? Or what the original uh, 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 scrolls would say, okay? Now, it is other translations that help you to better uh, understand right. but for the most part we deal with the king james man that's right okay and king james is a so-called black man that's right all right? right now go ahead fear not the imaginations against thee let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee so the lord is telling us just tell them what i told you to say and no matter what they uh do you know how they look at you about it just make sure you tell them what I say. Yep. And he said, uh, don't uh, don't uh, uh, stray from that, man. Okay? Speak the words that I put in your mouth. Right. And that's all we do, man. You know? Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Now go ahead with the uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. I mean, yeah, Jeremiah yeah. 28 and 8. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. See, so you say he did what? what it said, what did the prophets do? Because we hardly look at ourselves as the prophets, right? Huh. Right? What's that uh, scripture that brother can call it real quick? I know it's in 1 Corinthians. The spirit of the prophets are subject, subject to, to the, the prophets. prophets. Yep. Go to 1 Corinthians 14 and 37 for me, bro. The Mike. Alright, well go ahead and keep reading, you know. Read that from the top again. Come. Jeremiah 28 and 8. This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries. Against many countries. And against great kingdoms. And against great kingdoms. Of war and of evil and of pestilence. Of war and of evil and of pestilence. Now that's the thing. Alright? We ain't just out here telling you who gonna win the goddamn Super Bowl next year. You know, telling you who's gonna win the NBA finals. Yeah. You know? No, you're prophesying against great countries, uh, uh countries and great kingdoms, man. That's right. Right? Which the greatest kingdoms to ever come into rulership are written about in this very Bible, man. You understand? But those prophets of old spoke of those kingdoms in their terminology back then, right? And now those kingdoms have come in fruition. Either they've come to pass and have passed on, or we currently living in right. uh, 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 that kingdom. Yeah. Which the kingdom that we are currently living in is the last leg of the Roman Empire. That's right. Okay? In four beasts. That's right. right? We're living in that four uh, 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 beasts, that kingdom. Okay? You got that, bro? Yeah. Go ahead. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 32. And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets. So if a man in today's time is deeming himself a prophet, what should he be doing? Prophets. He should be prophesying. He should be prophesying of what? Yeah. Read it again. Gun. This is back in Jeremiah 28 and verse 8. It reads, The prophet that have been before me the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Yeah, uh. of war, of evil, and of pestilence. Now, we know through what's written in the scriptures 
that America is going to be destroyed in World War III. That's right. Right? That's right. That's right. By thermonuclear missiles. That's right. Yep. But the problem is, it don't say that verbatim, does it? It don't say America. Mm -hmm. Right? But we understand, give me Revelation 11 and 8. And you give me Ecclesiastes. I got one too, bro. Okay. Pretty sure. uh, this is Revelation 8, Salakia, 11, and verse 8. It says, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Right? And the dead bodies shall lie in that great city. But it say that city is not literal, it's, spirit, it's spiritual, mm -hmm. right? It's over. So that city is America. Going back to the scriptures, Babylon the Great, all right? That, that great city, that, loft, that lofty city, man, okay? Now what was uh, Babylon known for, right? Babylon, uh, uh, when you go into Babylon, it's what, confusion. Mm -hmm. So idolatry brings confusion. Right? And what you see in America today is that same idol worship. But now Revelation 11 and 8 says that that city will also embody what? The spirit of Sodom and the spirit of Egypt. That's America. Look on the back of your dollar bill. Look at where we at today. The city of Memphis, Tennessee, named after Memphis, Egypt. Okay? Sodomy. All right, we just came out of the month of June dedicated to the LGBT community. Mm -hmm. A whole month dedicated to LGBT community. Because that translate into sodomy. LGBT is just another way to say sodomy. Yeah. Right. Okay? Yeah. Now, if we are to, which commanded to do, prophesy against that community, we are deemed as what? <laughs> you know? Hate speech. Oh, this shit. You know, we we we're deemed as uh the bad guys, terrorists. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We get placed on Southern Poverty uh, uh watch. What's this? Southern Poverty SBLC watch. You know, Black Hebrew uh BHI watch. You know, all because we doing what? Prophesying. All right. Prophesying against wickedness. But the scripture said, you had your precept. Yeah. Yeah, this Go ahead. Hey, give me a uh, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 59 and 19. Go ahead. Get mine, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, this uh this is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Woo! Shall, mm -hmm. shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? Right, because everything that goes on is in the hand of the Heavenly Father. Whether it be good or evil. He said, uh, matter of fact, you know, I get back him up with Isaiah 45 and 7. Done. Go ahead. It says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing but revealeth his secret unto his servant, servants, the prophets. Right. So <laughs> it's evil being done in the city, right? Ultimately, the Lord is in control of the wicked that's doing the evil. But he's showing his secrets of how the evil operates to the prophets. Right. Right? Because how are the wicked being revealed? It say that in 2 Thessalonians. Yeah. Got them scriptures flowing now. Yeah. So <laughs> I got to keep up. Y'all help me keep up now. Y'all yeah. help me keep up. What I just called? Isaiah, Isaiah 45, 45 and 7. And seven I guess. Yeah. Isaiah, Isaiah uh, 59, 59 and 19, right? Hold that. We're going to bring that one out last. Isaiah 45 and 7. You go to 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, and the eighth verse. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, do all these things. But that's the mystery. <laughs> the mystery is people can't figure out why did the Lord, why did the Lord create evil? Right. <laughs> all the way up to the fact that people will say and ultimately deny that the Lord is not in control of evil. Right. Satan doing what he wanted to do. <laughs> Satan rebelling in heaven and, and right. fighting against yeah. the Lord. Right, yeah. right, right. And the kingdom, the, 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 the spiritual realm is out of order. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. That's not so. The Lord say no. Read it again. And I know you got a point. Come. This. Okay, okay. I do. You, you, you can bring it every like yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm you got to say something, but you good. Okay, bro. go ahead. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, shall do all these things. So for someone to say that Satan is doing his own thing, he's going against God, <laughs> right? He's taking the Lord's glory. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he had to set up the prophets. That's why he had to reveal his secrets, secrets. to his servants, the prophets, right. right? Right. Because he ultimately set up the wicked to be what? Destroyed. Destroy. Ooh, yeah. Script. Job 21 and 30. <laughs> Second Thessalonians 2 and 8 first. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And this is how that wicked is going to be destroyed. Alright? Now y'all stick with me because I'm going to try to tie this in to Daniel the seventh chapter. We're going to focus on the wicked when he comes into power. Go ahead. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the, that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. It mm. said he gonna destroy with what? Cause we want to emphasize the point. Who? How is he gonna destroy the wicked with what? Shall, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth Woo. and shall destroy with the brightness, brightness. of his coming. Good. With the spirit of his mouth. Man. The spirit of the Lord's mouth is what? Prophecy. Who speaks yeah. prophecy? Who the Lord said to speak prophecy? Prophet. The prophets, yeah. right? Read it again. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to prophesy the downfall, the right. destruction Woo. of the kingdom of the wicked. Woo. All while we are prophesying and hastening the coming of our Lord. Right. See, that's the year. Deemed by Apostle Harm. The hasting of the coming of our Lord, because the hasting of the coming of our Lord it creates the what? The destruction of America. That's right. right. People don't understand that. See, the destruction of, of America is an evil time. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord say, I create evil. Yep, yep, yep. I do all these things. That's right. Yep. Good times, bad times. So it all adds up when we put it together. Give me that Jeremiah 1. Lord willing, the scripture that I just had in mind. Oh, I think it's 2 Samuel 2 and 23, you know? Okay, 2 Samuel. I ain't forgot about you. We're going to okay. get it. Hey, Let me get this. Go ahead. Uh, verse 5, this is Jeremiah 1 and 5. It says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forward out the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet into the nation. See? <laughs> So the yeah, prophets were it. ordained, man. The prophets were set up from the from the beginning, starting with who? Who's the first prophet? Say it loud, huh? Yahweh Shah. Yeah, that's right. That's the first prophet. <laughs> we, that's what we opened up with, right? Yahweh yep. Shah's spirit is the spirit of prophets. Prophet. The first prophet was Yahweh Shah, oh. the chief prophet. You wanna we wanna prove it? <laughs> we had a lesson this week. Y'all remember? Come. Yep. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me Deuteronomy 18 and 15. Give me Deuteronomy 18 and 15, man. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 15. Oh, uh, yeah. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushad, thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet. Hold on. Yeah. Spell the prophet for yeah. me. Spell that word prophet for me. Prophet. P R O H P. Nah. Capital P. That's capital right. P. P R O P H E T. Capital P. Yeah. So that's a particular prophet. Mm. Right. There's no other time in the scriptures where the capital P is on the prophet. So we know that's talking about who? A particular prophet. That's the right. chief prophet, Yahweh Shah, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. right. Yeah, um, go to the etymology of the word chief, it means supreme being. It's a supreme Ooh. being, man. I just want to um, go into the definition. Con. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Brother, uh, you can get it. Bring it out. You, uh, your phone's up there. Yeah, yeah. Con, con. Hey, uh, you said 2 Samuel 2. I think it's 2 and 23. It might be 1 Samuel 2 and 23. It might be 1 Samuel. Go oh, ahead, yeah, come, come. Start back from the top. Deuteronomy 18, 15. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet. All right, whom the world even calls Jesus Christ. That's the prophet. Go ahead. From the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, <coughs> unto him he shall hearken. It also tells you in the New Testament that Yahweh Shah was a prophet. 
I can't remember exactly why I was reading that at earlier this week, but if a brother can find it, let me know. I get my attention and we'll bring it out. So that prophet, that chief prophet is Yahweh Shah. All right? So ultimately, the spirit that we coming in is the spirit of Yahweh Shah. Right? Go ahead, bro. This is Jeremiah 1 and 9. Did you just have that? God, that's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead, bring it out again. <laughs> then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Mm. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. Verse 10. See, I have this day, see thee over the nation and over the kingdom to root out and to pull down the strong. Kind, and kind, to beautiful. destroy and throw down to build and to plant. Yeah. That's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. Right? That's what we're here for. To root out what? Wickedness. That's right. Right? To root out wickedness. Okay? Which the Lord say he has reserved the wicked for what? Joe, jo, who got that Joel 21 uh, no, and 30? I get it. I get it. Okay. Oh, you got it. You can bring it out. Alright, this Joel 21 and 30, it says that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. Right, now when you go to, uh, who those scriptures coming now? When you go to Malachi, right? Y'all think it's one and four. Not one and four, but uh, four. Four, yeah, one. four, mm -hmm. yeah. Go ahead, y'all can uh, get that right. in Malachi four. You got All that, Sam, right. you got that? Uh, first Samuel. Two and 23. Two and 23. Yeah, let's go. And he said, and he said unto them, why do ye such things? For I hear of your evil dealings by all these people. Nay, my sons, for it is, verse 24, nay, my sons, for it is no good report that I hear ye make the Lord's people to transgress. Yeah, that's not it though. That ain't it, I, Nah, nah. Right, so, I, it, it, that was two, that was chapter two in verse 23? Come. Okay, we'll, we'll come back to it, go ahead. Yeah, Lord willing little, it'll come back, go ahead. A little more on this Job. It's Job uh, 21 and 30. That, the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Okay? But up until that time, uh, but up until the time that he's actually brought uh, uh, to, that, to that day of wrath, what's going to be happening? His, his, hey, the prophets are going to be prophesying of his fall. Every little thing that happens, we're going to be pinpoint. See? This ties into his fall. For instance, you look at the society, all right, of America, it's declining. You go in the stores, uh, the shelves are empty, right? Yep. You see uh, uh, a, a, a civil unrest. Yep. You got the jab juice coming to you door to door. That's pestilence. Yep. You know? Because that's all a sign of this man's kingdom uh, 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 coming to an end right. and him ultimately being destroyed. Yeah. If it's more finishing, yeah, then more. you got it. Uh, verse 31. Who shall declare his way and two. to his face? Two, okay. <laughs> and who shall repay him uh, and who shall repay him what he have done? And who shall repay him what he have done, man? Right? You still got the Isaiah 59? Feel like it's gonna come around. Go ahead. Hey, can I just make a point? Go ahead. Back in that second test loan, it said only him who now will will let it. So yeah, how shall I go with pay him? Then? Right. It say, uh, yeah, until he be taken out of the way. Yep. You know. But this the uh, the definition, all etymology dictionary of the word chief from 13th century, highest <laughs> in rank or power, most important or permanent, supreme, best, place above the rest. Um, jump down. He said the head, also leader, God, chief. Mm. And see what people don't understand is Yahweh Shah is the first, the first of, 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 of all offices, really. Yeah. Since we're on that topic, right? Because the first time the word priest is mentioned is talking about Melchizedek. Now, what Melchizedek mean? Uh, king. King of King, uh, king of righteousness. King of righteousness. Who's the king of righteousness? Yahweh Shah. That's right. So you, you want to talk about the high priest? The high priest is Yahweh Shah. Right, right. right. Yahweh Shah is the king. Man, the He's the chief prophet. Yeah. He's the chief priest. Yeah. Yeah. He's the chief of all. Under the heavenly father, everything comes from him, man. That's right. But you, 
unfortunately we got certain sects of individuals and in, within the Israelites, within the circumcision, who don't understand that. But we ain't talking about them today. So we got 1 Samuel 23 and 2 now, right? 1 Samuel 23 and 2. That was the second Samuel, so like it. This is 1 Samuel 23 and verse 2. <gasps> Therefore, David inquired of the- 2 Samuel 23 and 2. Okay, so like, okay. Right. this is 2 Samuel 23 and verse 2. The spirit of the Lord, you have- There we go. The spirit of the Lord, you have by Shemi Hawashai, spake by me and his words was in my tongue. See how I had to get it right? Because it wasn't going with, with the topic, how we had to get it right. Because the spirit, that ain't what he wanted me to say. See, but we gotta stick with the topic. So I knew when I heard it, like, nah, that ain't it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read it again. This is 2 Samuel 23 and verse 2. The spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shimi Hawashai, spake by me, and his words was in my tongue. There we go, right? So his words was in our tongue to prophesy the downfall of the wicked, okay? And all the kingdoms that ever came into power on this earth were all wicked. But certain particular kingdoms, namely America, namely the, the, uh, 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 the, the, the Greek Empire and the Roman Empire was ruled by the wicked, right? And the brother brought out Jeremiah 1 and 10, which said that we gonna uh, do proxy root out, root out the wicked, man. That's right. Right? Go ahead. Uh, now hold it. Give me Malachi 4. You got it? Huh? Yeah. Malachi. You got it already? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Malachi 4. It's Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. Ooh. And all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. Mm. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. That day cometh. Going back to 2 Thessalonians, the Lord gonna destroy with the brightness of his coming, right? With the, uh, 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 by the words of uh, his mouth first. You see, first we gotta destroy this man mental, uh, his, his mental and his spirit, right? Because that's what's gonna cause him to start making all the wrong moves because he's proud. See, when you're under pressure and things not going how you plan them to go, you start fucking up making the wrong decisions. Yeah. <laughs> like basketball, you get that full court press on you. Yeah, and you start turning it over. Yeah, turn it over. See, that's what he's doing spiritually. He's turning the kingdom over. Because we putting that pressure on him. Yep. Pressure. Pressure. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but at the same time, while we're doing that, hey, he, he trying to put pressure back on us. Mm -hmm. Right? Damn, like but that's how the Lord had it set up. Good is set against evil. Yep. Right? So as we doing this, what's ultimately gonna happen? Because see that's what people don't understand. It looks easy. You know, we stand out here week in and week out, we do the videos, and from the outside looking in, it looks like easy, or it looks like there's no merit to it. Like, oh, they just some bombs standing out there. Nah, there's studying and prayer and all type of things that go on behind the scenes before we can get out here. And ultimately, before any one of us got out here, we had to count the cost. Yeah, that's right. Right? What's the Lord say? You know? Right. You gotta count the cost of what's gonna come when you prophesy against a man in his kingdom. That's right, yep. Yeah. Cause he can have his way with you. But as long as you got faith and power, if you, as long as you got faith in the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you're gonna have a heads that's gonna be around you to protect you, man. That's right. Yeah. You know? That's why we gotta fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah more than we fear these men. That's uh, right. Right? Than we fear these powers that have been set up on the earth. Because he's the supreme power, man. That's he's right. the chief. Go ahead, bro. Isaiah 59 and 19. This, this is Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west in his glory from the rising of the sun. Mm. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So us knowing that, what we do? We 
come out here boldly. That's right. You know? And tell this man he the devil that the Bible speaks of. Tell him that he's going into slavery. Tell him that he's going to be destroyed. Tell him he's the wicked. Right? Because if, if, hey, if we don't do it, who going to do it? Oh, man. That's right. That's oh, right. Man. Come, come. Right? I know what you got. Go on, bring it out. Oh, I'm trying to find it. Is it Psalms, Psalms 94? 94 16. Yeah, I got it. This is Psalms 94 and 16. <laughs> who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right. God. Mm, and the, right. the answer is the prophets. Mm -hmm. You know? That's it. The ones that he has put his spirit on. Right. Nobody's going to tell the so-called white man to his face that he's the devil that the Bible speaks of just because they feel like telling him. Yeah. It's best to not know no no Jake, you know. Not out in the open, you know. <laughs> but that's why the Lord said we're supposed to be out here proclaiming it openly, you know. So let's get into some prophecy, man. Let's get into the end of this man's kingdom. That's right. Let's start with second Ezra. At second there's a six start at seven. Hey, give me whole whole uh X. Whole X one. And you hold Isaiah 45 and 17. Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 7. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follow? Right, so the prophets weren't just out here prophesying for nothing, just to prophesy of evil and pestilence of the downfall of all these kingdoms for no reason. They were prophesying because they understood also that with the downfall of these kingdoms, the kingdom of Israel will be restored yeah. back to the chief seat. Yeah. Give me that Acts of uh, well, 1 X. and 5. Acts 1 and uh and five. Might be able to start yeah. up some, but I think the point is at five. Uh, this is six. Okay, because uh, I start at five, I think it's okay. point six. This is uh, Acts 1 and 5. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. Mm -hmm. It says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. Right, so these were the disciples, right, who in the very next chapter received that very same spirit that he just read about, right? You, 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 you should be baptized with what? The Holy Spirit. So in the next chapter, they received that Holy Spirit at Jerusalem. And that's when they became apostles, right? Uh -huh. Which in this time, the apostles and the prophets are the chief office, man. Okay? Because that's the time that we that's the time that we in. We're in the time of, of prophecy. Major prophecies coming to pass, which ultimately leads to what? The restoration of Israel. That's right. Same thing Ezra is asking of, right? Who was what? Was Ezra an apostle or was he a prophet? He was a prophet. prophet. But in essence, they're one and the same. Because we sent out to do what? Prophesy. You know? So go back to uh, Ezra. Second Ezra 6 and 8. And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. So the angel is telling Ezra pretty much when the kingdom was on the rise, when it, when it was time for the kingdom to be restored, all right? Notice he started with Abraham, Isaac, and then Jacob. Now go ahead. Verse nine, for Esau is the end of the world. Esau is what? The end of the world. Esau is the end of the world. Does that mean that the entire earth is gonna come to a non-existence? No. 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 That world goes into eon, which means an age. Mm -hmm. So his age is going to come to an end. Esau 
Esau, Esau is Edom. E Edom is who? The wicked. Right? <laughs> the wicked today is the so-called white man, like the brother said, to identify him, the so-called self-proclaimed white man, white starting man. first and foremost with the elites, all right? The Rothschilds, the one percent of the banking families, man. You know, go ahead. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So back in was that Isaiah 46 to 10, he said he declared the end yeah, from, from the beginning. So he declared that when Jacob was and Esau was born, which Esau was born first, that was the end. Mm -hmm. And Jacob came out afterwards would be representation of the beginning of a new age. And that age, whose name, uh, that age would be given to the Israelites. Jacob's name was changed to Israel, right? That's right, that's right. So what does Isaiah 45 and 17 say? This is Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, with an everlasting salvation. Yep. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So, Isaiah 45 and 17 says, one people will be a world Ooh. without an end. Man. Ezra 6 and 9 said what? For Esau is the end of the world. Stop. Woo. For Esau is the end of the world. That's right. Man. So, through using context clues, you know <laughs> that the world is not going to come to a complete and utter end right. it's not talking about the world being totally and utterly destroyed and nobody's going to exist mm -hmm. right. no it's talking about rulership that's right yeah. it's talking about this man's kingdom being destroyed esau edom the wicked mm -hmm. and the kingdom of righteousness is going to be established world without end that's an right. everlasting age that's right. right right so what's leading up to that Prophecy. That's right. Prophecy. And when you read the Bible, that's why it's always good to have teachers to guide you in the direction of where to start. Genesis, the 25th chapter, would be a more beneficial place to start reading instead of Genesis, the first chapter. You see? Because now you understand, all right, Jacob and Esau. Because Jacob and Esau was the last two nations. To become a nation. You see? Makes sense. Yep. Because Jacob and Esau would be the last two to rule yep. before the Lord comes back. That's right. You see? So we're gonna go to Daniel 7 chapter. Right? Because it gets into the the major kingdoms, right? That took place before Esau came into power. You good up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Now what I want to do is, because it's a lot into day seven chapter, but I want to show y'all how you prove that Esau was the Greeks, right? And Esau was the Romans. That's right. Right? Lord will the spirit be with me and we can keep it going where y'all bros can keep up. So we're going to start at day seven and four. Right? We're going to read through. Daniel 7 and 4. Daniel 7 and 4. Alright, this is Daniel 7 and verse 4. It says, The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Which brothers know what, the, what kingdom that's talking about? Uh, I got it right here in my sword. I got it. That's uh, Assyria. Yeah. Babylon. Yeah. Babylon. Babylon. Assyria the first. and Babylonian Empire, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do the, what what does what does the lion represent? It's Babylon. Babylon. Yeah, Babylon. 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 The, the lion represents the Babylonians. Yeah. Now, what do the wings represent? The Assyrians, right? Because the Assyrians in power first and then the Babylonians came into power which actually was the what were Assyrians okay mm -hmm. the Babylonian Empire was ruled by Assyrians as well so yeah. the first kingdom is the Babylonian Empire which began with the Assyrians okay 
the wings represent the Assyrians, the lion represents the Babylonians. Go ahead. It says, I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked. The wings were plucked off. That's the Assyrians coming out of power and the Babylonians, uh, uh, you know, uh, solidifying themselves as the power in the earth. Go ahead. And it was lifted up from the earth. Now you had the prophet uh, Jeremiah was in the Babylonian empire. Uh, 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 I want to say it was Ezekiel, Habakkuk, Habakkuk. Uh, namely, namely it was Jeremiah, Isaiah, yeah. uh, he might have been, I, I can't name them all off the top of my head right now, yeah, but namely so for sure Jeremiah, uh, Daniel, yeah. right, uh, Isaiah, I want to say, I don't know, I'm not sure about Ezekiel, but I believe it was Habakkuk, Habakkuk 2. Habakkuk. Yeah, Habakkuk 2. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. It says, and may stand, I'm going to start over. It says, and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man, and a man's heart was given into it. Go ahead. And, and behold, another beast, a second like to a bear. So this is a, sec this is a second beast, right? Because Daniel saw uh, these kingdoms as beasts, right? So he saw them coming out of the waters. What the waters really represents the nations. Like coming out of the sea, the sea represents the nations. So these were superpowers that came out of the nations and started uh, uh, conquering the nations as superpowers in the earth. Go ahead. And it raised up itself on one side. Now this is talking about who? The Medo-Persian Medo Empire, yeah, Medo right? Persian. And the, and it's raised up on one side represents who? The Persians, because the Persians took over the Medes, right? Go ahead. And it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. Now who were the, who were the Medes and who were the Persians? Hold on, let's get the <laughs> who know who the Mees were? Jaffy, right? Uh, the Mees were Jaffy, right? Who were the who were the Persians? Uh, the Persians, uh, the Arab, Elon, 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 Elon. Elon. Yeah. right? Go ahead. It says, uh, and they said, thus unto it, arise, devour much flesh. Yep. Now the Persians was a very was a very extensive, very powerful empire. The Persian Empire, uh, yeah, I can't think of the name. Was it Achaemenid? Achaemenid? Was it the Achaemenid dynasty? Yeah. Which Who was it? the wrong way <laughs> hey which makes sense now yeah. who who was uh who was the first king of the uh persian empire no no uh speak up huh? uh, cyrus. cyrus 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 go to isaiah 45 and one it's like i i, I you got something to say? Go ahead. No, I just, I speak up. I thought it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Speak up. Play for the chemical here. Okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. And then, brother, give me, uh, give me Daniel 4 and 17. Okay, okay, Daniel. Now, you stay there. Oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Isaiah 45 and 1. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaved gates and the gates shall not be shut. So that's verse one. Now, why did the Lord call Cyrus his anointing? Well, Cyrus, we just we just went into the Persians was what? Elon. So we know the Lord's anointed to be who? What nation? Israel. 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 So why is he, why is, why is Cyrus in Isaiah 45 and one identified as the Lord's anointed. Who, who got the answer? 
know it, but... He just supposed to do the... To build up the temple. To yeah. build up the temple, right? Because what happened to the Israelites under the captivity of the Persian Empire? Yeah, the, the temple destroyed. No. The temple was rebuilt. The oh, temple so like, was destroyed during the Babylonian Empire, come, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the Lord caused the Persians to have favor with Israel. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. And it was set up for Israel to uh, uh, to be allowed to rebuild the second temple under Zerubbabel. Ah, okay. Right? Go ahead, you got the priest up. This Ezra 1, yes. now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia. Y'all hear it? Yeah. Go ahead. That the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Lord, Yahweh, stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, the king of Persia, that he made a pro proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it also in writing, saying, Thus said Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord power of heaven had given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he had charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Mm -hmm. Right. So that was him paying homage to the power of Israel. You see? Now give me Daniel 4 and 17. This is Daniel. This is, like, this is Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and, and the deem by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of man and give it to whomsoever he will and set it up over it the basis of men. So he set up different men, even the basis of men, to rule the earth, right? But it's all for Israel's sake. Go back to second. Go back to second Ezra. And jump down to six and fifty-six, right? Because contrary to popular belief, the entire earth was made for one nation of people to rule. Right. And everyone else to serve under them. Go ahead. Second Ezra 6 and 56. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, Ooh. and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Man. Now get the part where it say uh he made the world, the world was made for our sakes. Second Ezra 6 and 58. Okay. Matter of so fact. So Matter of fact, yeah, just jump straight to the point. Second Ezra 6 and 59. If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? Right. Ooh. So the prophet Ezra said through the angel that the other nations be like unto spittle, that they're nothing in the eyes of the Most High, because his people is the nation of Israel. Oh, right. right? And he made the world for their sakes. That's right. So any kingdom that he set up was ultimately for the sake of Israel to prevail in the end. Right? So that's why Cyrus is deemed as his anointed in Isaiah 45 and 1. Because that's who he chose for the purpose of Israel's sake to build that second temple up. Right? Did y'all have, have any questions on y'all want to answer? You read the King James Bible. Yep. You got to keep red book. That red book? That red book is called the Apocrypha. What is that about? Huh? What is that about? It's a part of the Bible. Is it a part they took out? Yeah. It's a part the devil took out. What's going to happen? That's what that is, the Apocrypha. Well, the Apocrypha is a part of the Bible that they took out. Yeah. Uh, who got the 1611? Good in my bag. All right, brother got, right yeah, there. brother got it. See, the earlier editions of the Bible contain the Apocrypha. Lead her to it, brother. Lead her to it. Yeah. Lead her to the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha is between the Old and New Testament. Right. And that's, that's uh, over 400 years of history that they took out of the Bible because it identifies it identifies who the wicked of this world is. That's right. This is what we're going to do. Who are the wicked? Who are the wicked? This is the most of my history. Before y'all go to Malachi, give me Job, though. All right, guys. Yeah. This is Job, verse 9 and 24. It says, the earth is given into the 
hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So you hear what they said, who the wicked is? The wicked is who the power of the earth. The, 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 the wicked is the people that has the power of the earth. That's right. They said, they said, the, the, they said the earth is given into the hands of, of, the, of the wicked. wicked. That's right. Right? But it's a people. It's a, it's a people. It's a wicked people. That's now, right. right. Go, go to Malachi. Yeah. 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 But they got a name though. It's a every nation on the Well <laughs> That's a that's a uh cover. <laughs> that's a disguise form. Yeah. Right? Because Illuminati. See you gotta understand what when you when you when you, when you uh go into different words they got meanings. So Illuminati just means light bearer. Light bearer. That's it. That's all, all Illuminati means is light bearers. Now, they're, they're identified as a nation of people in the Bible. Instead of me just telling you, I, I, I want the Bible to speak for you. So brother, go Malachi and Obadiah. If you got a minute, I wanna, I wanna allow you on your own to come to the conclusion of who this wicked people is. Now, the, na the names of the nations of people that's on the earth right now, are not the same as the nations of people that's in the Bible. You see? Except for a minor few. You got the Egyptians. The Egyptians still on the, on the earth. Right? I got a question. Hold on. You got to deal, deal one question at a time. What's your question? Okay. <laughs> okay. You got to pay attention. So she, she finna, he taking you to where we finna go. Malachi going to explain who the wicked are. Start at the, uh, start at the top. Malachi chapter 1 verse 1 The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi I have loved you said the Lord Yet ye say wherein hast thou loved us mm -hmm. Was not Esau Jacob's brother Was not Esau Jacob's brother Go ahead Said the Lord yet I loved Jacob mm -hmm. And I hated Esau So it's Woo! a people that the Lord loves And it's a people that the Lord hates That's right, That's right. Who did he say? Hated Esau. That's there right. You there you go. There you go. And who did he love? Jacob. Jacob. Okay, right. go ahead. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Now, who is Edom? Genesis 36, real quick. Let me tell you who Edom is. It's Genesis 36 and 8. Listen, listen. It said, thus dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. So Esau is the father of the Edomites. Just like Jacob is the father of who? The Israelites. <laughs> the Israelites. 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 The Israelites. Okay? Yep. So he said right. he hate Edomites, but he love Israelites. That's right. Right? Why do we hate Edomites? Go ahead. One and four. Uh, Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Woo! So he said Edom is the people who he have indignation, which means righteous hatred for for how long? Forever. 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 For, forever ever. So it's the people on the earth that the Lord said he hates forever. And they're deemed as the wicked. Now let's see if we can go in a little bit more and identify who Edom is, right? Which what you got a question? Go ahead. I need to go because I'm probably I have a problem with Okay. Anyway. We understand. Are we righteous? Yeah. 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 We 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 we're in we're Israel. Yeah. We're in Israel. Edom. That's what we was about to get to. Go to Obadiah. I got it. Nah, nah, nah. Uh -uh. It ain't got nothing to do with Lot. Lot is the righteous. Go this ahead. is. This is. Good. Yeah. Nah, he, he cursed. Uh, uh, Ham. Yeah, Ham. That's two different nations. Look, only thing you need to worry about is Jacob and Esau. Right now. Well. 
Well, I tell you this. I tell you, I tell you this. I, I'll tell you this. We were. That's right. That's why we out here. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we worry for our we worry for we worry for our people. Yeah. Listen, listen, yeah. listen, listen. I'm gonna give you something before you go because this right here. Let me give you something. Nah, uh, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, it's twelve o'clock. Hey, uh -huh. uh, that's it. One more, then you can go. Give me, give me Psalms, give me Psalms ninety six and thirteen. Psalms, give me Psalm 96 and 13. All right, this Psalms 96, verse 13. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. The Lord coming to judge the earth. Go ahead. He shall judge the world with righteousness. He shall judge the world, the world with righteousness. And the people with his truth. He gonna judge the people with his truth. What's the Lord's name? Jesus. No. 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 Now you don't got time, right? Give me X. Give me hold on. She don't got time. She gotta go. Give me, give me X. You gotta you gotta go. Hold on. Hold on. You gotta go. Give me X four and twelve. I guess it. I guess it. Give me five words, thirty and thirty and five. This this X four and twelve. X four and twelve. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven. Given among men, whereby we must be saved. Mm. So that's only Ooh. one name. On, that's only one name under heaven given amongst men, by we must be saved by. It's one name that we gonna get deliverance that by. That is the name of Jesus Christ of the mm. No, 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 man. <laughs> hey, you see this Bible right here? Go, 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 go to uh, Matthew. Go to, go, to, go to Matthew 1 and 21. And I want you to read this scripture for me. You, can you read pretty good? All right, well, he going he, he gonna to read this scripture for you. Because you, you say, well, uh, where the Apocrypha come from, right? Yep. So the Apocrypha is in this Bible. But guess what? The name of Jesus is not in this Bible. That's right. Well, how do you know his name ain't in there? Then when, then Cause when, I'm when, Because I read it. Because I read it. The scripture said blessed. The scripture said blessed. Then they say call his name. That's what we hey, hey that's the spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the spirit. That's what we're right? gonna read. That's where you're going. Matthew 1 and 21. Now, let's see, let's see what it reads. And she shall bring, excuse me, Salakio. Matthew 1 and 21. I mean Matthew 1 and chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth the son, and thou shalt call his name Yahushai. No. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. Read it so verbatim. It don't say that. Don't cast the girls before swine. Go ahead. And she shall bring forth the son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. No, it don't say that. Uh, Read it uh, verbatim. Uh, it verbatim. It does not uh, say Jesus in the 1611. Read it verbatim. Ah. <laughs> she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. 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 Now why I say why I say Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. Well, no. Why does it say Jesus? Why you call it on Jesus? But this Bible says Jesus. You ain't got time. You ain't got time. You ain't got time. But, but, get, but guess what? You do not know who you, you do not know who you calling on. Yeah. You do not know who you calling on. Exactly. That's exactly who you calling on. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. 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 John nine and twenty four, brothers. Let's quote it. The earth, earth is, is given to the, the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Yeah. Who's the chief judge? Jesus. 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 That, guess what? Uh, they, uh, guess what? They covered his name up. Hey. Guess what? They covered his. Guess what? They covered. No. Guess what? They covered his name up. They covered it up. Okay. No, that ain't it. Uh, can I bring this up? Give me Proverbs give me, give me Proverbs 30 real quick. Go ahead, bring out what you got. This is this is Zechariah 14 and 9. Go ahead. It says, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. And his name one. one. So there's one, one name. One name. One the Lord has one name to call on for salvation. His true name. What's the Lord's nationality? 
Here's the Hebrew. Right. What language right. did he speak? I Hebrew. Hebrew. No, he spoke Hebrew. Yeah. So, what language is Jesus? No, 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 no. Focus on the question. Everybody answer this time. Help out. Okay. What language is Jesus? Greek. Greek. English. English. No, Jesus is English. English. What, what language is he? Jesus. Greek. 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 Arabic. Greek. Hey, listen. Jesus is Greek. Jesus is English. Yeah. What? What nationality you just said was the Lord? Hebrew. 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 So what language would he have spoken? Hebrew. Come on now. <laughs> you don't say that. You want to say Hebrew. it? Hebrew. There you go. So what would his name have been? What language would his name have been? Ancient. Ancient. Who? Huh? Human. It would have been in ancient. It would have been in Hebrew. English. Yeah, so five hundred years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. There you go. Right. Yeah, he never would have heard Jesus. <laughs> no, because that's not Hebrew. That's Greek. It's that's Greek. Greek. Yeah, yeah, it's Greek. Well, what you call it? If it's not Hebrew or Jesus, what is it? He said something like Jesus. Jesus is from the Spaniards. Hey, hey. Jesus is from Greek. Greek. didn't exist back then, right? So there's no way that his name could be Jesus. Right. Right. No days. So that's what right. we that's what we right. 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 So Dave, that's what we're trying to do. I believe that. He yeah. is. I believe he's a black guy. That's right. So who is that? Jesus was a Jew. He was born a Jew. No, okay, but so who is this? I don't know who this is. Hey. <laughs> 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 he's a so hold on, wait a minute, real quick before you real quick before you tell me something. Real quick, real quick before you tell me something. So if the whole world told you this was Jesus and you know this ain't Jesus, do you think that they would have told you his name was something that is not? Right. If they didn't tell you his what his truth, if they don't tell you what he truly looked like, what make you think they can tell you what his name is? They tricked us. They tricked us. You know what this is? What I tell you. The Lord's going to judge the world with his truth. Yep. So you well, know what this is? Give me Hosea. Hold on, real quick. I got the truth. Hosea, <laughs> I got the truth. Hosea, <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, uh, Hosea, uh, what's uh, the, okay, so you got the, the truth. truth. The truth. What's his name? What am I? I am. What the scriptures say? I am. What the Bible say? He's I am. The Bible say there's only one he's name he's given, yep. given, given to where we must be saved. To where we must be saved. I yeah. am. So that name, whatever you I call just, it. I just heard it. I just heard it. Egypt, he told him to tell him the great I am. Nah, that ain't what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he, did. he said the Lord God. No, he said tell him the out. great I am. Check that out. He's trying to show you something. Yeah, read it for you. That's the first uh, slave ship. I'm not reading it. Yeah, the slave ship was yeah. called the Good Ship Jesus. That's what they we came over to America Yeah, They the killed a lot of our people in their name. Yeah, they killed a lot of our people in their name in Jesus. The first time we heard the name. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Columbus. Columbus. They nah. killed yeah. nah, 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 a lot of our people in the name of Jesus. They killed a lot of our people in the name of Jesus. Now, you talking about, I think they were already here. Well, some of us was. Hold on, wait a minute. The Jews weren't, though. The Jews went over here. Hold on, hear this out right here. Hold it. Hear this out right here. Hear, what's the scripture I just got? Hosea 1. Okay. Hear this right here. Hear this, hear this right here. You should be hysterical then. Go ahead. Hosea 4 and 1. I, we know. Go ahead. <laughs> Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. But see, you trying you trying to find you you trying to you trying to find cardinality, but really. You need to be trying to find spirituality. That's right. I got spirituality. You see what I'm saying? You, you need to be trying to find your spirit. I got my Go ahead. Spirit. I know the spirit. Go ahead. Right hear, here. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel, for the Lord <laughs> hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. The Lord said he got a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Why? I know he Because does. there is no truth. No truth. No nor mercy. No mercy. Nor knowledge no. of God in the land. No, no knowledge of God no. in the no. land. No. So because no. so because there is no knowledge of God in the land, jump down to verse 6. What's going to happen? Verse 6. 
My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. So because you have a lack of knowledge for the most high, he's I'm going to destroy you. I might be the only one going to Go ahead. Go because ahead. thou hast rejected knowledge. Because thou hast rejected, rejected knowledge. knowledge. Woo! I will also reject thee. I will also reject thee. See, nobody's got time until time is truly running out. Man. Hey, I got a police up, brother. Because they don't see their time is they don't our people don't see their time is running out. Right, 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 right. They got time for everything in the world. Yep. Until they don't. Woo! Because everything else is gonna run out of time, but the Lord time is infinite. But guess what? The Lord gonna choose who he wanna give his time. The Lord is about to choose who he wants to give time to. Man. Right, right. Here come, you get yep. time. Time expired. Time And most people's time is gonna get expired. You know why? Yep. Because they didn't have time for the Lord. Woo. You know? Yep. So you think about what we were talking about. They don't see what goes on behind the scenes. Right. But Jake yeah, wants you yeah. when you come up here to get them all the answers just yep. like that. No. We we had to put in time. For this stuff, man. Ooh, That's why yeah. the scripture tell you what, cast not your pearls before swine. Even if we had talk, we actually said the name. Right, yeah. You yeah, see yeah. that? Yeah. yeah. You yeah. said yeah. the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Over here. You said the name. Straight over here. So we have to know as men of the Lord who to get up, who to you gotta be worthy of get that scripture for me, Baba Busha. You gotta be worthy. Mm. Yeah, oh yeah. You gotta be worthy. Go ahead and bring it out, why brother, why brother hey, five. This is this is uh second. Second Ezra 6 and 27. It says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. Go ahead. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. I hope you, I hope you find the white horse. I hope you find the white horse. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. All right. That was it. You want me to read it again? Out? Yeah, read it out. Read it out right. again. Second Ezra <laughs> six and twenty-eight. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. That's right. And the truth, which have right. been so long without fruit, shall be declared. And the truth, which has been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right. Which is what's going on right here at this very moment. The truth is being declared. But guess what? People don't want the truth, man. They don't got time for the truth. They can't handle the truth. Because in their mind, they got it all figured out. You know? Meditation Christianity. Got them gone. We can't fight against the most high, man. You know? You know? Did you find it? Okay. Did y'all find it? about being worthy of the, of the name of being worthy of the Lord, pretty much. Oh, you talking about um, the marks? Yeah, the marks. yeah, come, come. Oh, yeah, go, to, um, go to Revelation. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. <coughs> but if our gospel be yes, hid, yes, it is yes, hid yes, to yes, them yes, that are lost. Woo! Woo! What's he saying? I don't like getting lost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, just we got can't tell. Yeah, right. Yeah, you <laughs> Brother, it's always great seeing y'all. Good seeing you too. And I love that video they did, man, on 4th of July about true independence. That, 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 oh, that, that was amazing. Hey, I'm glad video. you tuned in, bro. That, that, blue, that, that literally made me see now and stood some things going on and all that. But uh, yeah. just got back in town. I got an MMA fight. Hey, man. Right. Hey, wish you the best, brother. It's always good to see you, man. I'm glad you see you come out here. Man, I didn't ever walk into that, but that's good. Good to know you've been watching, too, man. Right, oh, right, no, right. I, I mean, guys, I mean, I told you every time y'all, uh, Hey, YouTube has been kind of messed up, so like, you don't let me know when y'all gonna lie. Yeah, it's, it's, it's big, but you don't have to worry about the car. You know what, though? I think that stuff is gonna work with them, because every time I get the message, I don't never get the live when y'all on live. Man. Hey, the family of the word coming, bro. They've been terminating our pages. Yep. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know what's crazy? It's really only happening to GMS. Yeah. Sensory the truth and stuff. Yeah, it's really only happening to I I, I like damn these dudes because I see these other accounts. You know what I'm saying? They they page is still 
But you know what? The Lord about to take the Lord is about to take the yeah. truth, man. Yeah. The truth, like, the truth is not going to be available like that, man. But I'm glad yeah, I caught that one on July 4th. Yeah, yeah, man. That, 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 that was a that change my life. That was the spirit. Hey, hey, and then uh, we was kind of jumping a little bit, but that was the spirit, though. But hey, man, keep tuning in. Keep watching, man. The water, bro. Shalom, hey, shalom, brother. Shalom, come, come back. <laughs> hey, come back. <laughs> the brother said, the brother said, hey, come back. I got, I got like three, four videos. Y'all saying that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two of them I'm in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come, come on. Bro. Saint Corinthians four and four. Yeah. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of the Most High Yahweh, should shine unto them. Yep. So if the Lord don't show you his truth, you won't receive it, man. Yep. Everybody think that they got it, yep. but they don't understand the scripture tell you that everybody don't got it. Right. Did it actually tell you that most people don't have it? Man. That there be many more of them that shall perish than shall be saved. That's right. The Lord said because of uh, uh, his people is because they receive not the love or the truth. Mm -hmm. So, hey man, when you really love something, guess what you do? Put time in it. Put, put time into it, man. Yep. <laughs> Look at these niggas, all these selfs. Yeah. They put time in their women. Yeah. That nigga put time into all, all the vain shit, all the vanity. But when it comes, you 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 will ask a nigga that by the world standard what he what he did to achieve his success. You will see a nigga thriving in the world financially. You know, if he came up, it, it don't matter how he came up. If he came up on the black market or you know in the streets, or if he came up through the system or education through the through the college. That's what all he had to go through. That nigga got hella stores for you. Be like, damn, nigga, he went through all that shit. Yep. You, ask a, you ask somebody who got a PhD how many books they had to read to get that PhD. Right. How many years? How much money? How many hours of class? How much time, how much time nigga, did, you, did it take for you to get there? Oh, 10 years, 8 years. You know, 189 credits. <laughs> You know, but then you ask him something about the Bible. Jesus will. Right. They know that the, they know that's the shortest verse in the Bible. That's pretty much that's the, you know. Oh, John three sixteen, of course, Good. of course, of course they know John. So with that scripture, they like I ain't got to do nothing else. God love everybody. Yep. You know, you see what Christianity do for you, man. Man. But hey, Lord will. Let me get back. What time is it? Six, okay, so let's see if we can go through the rest of uh, Daniel. Okay. Yeah, in 30 more minutes. We can <coughs> And we was, we, so we got to the Persians now. The Persians have, Israel had favor uh, with the Persians. Right. Uh, yeah. Allowed them to build a temple back up. Oh, yeah. You know, Cyrus saw. Which it didn't happen, it actually didn't happen under Cyrus' rule. Darius. I believe it happened under Darius' rule. Done. Right? But the, the paperwork, yeah. so to speak, yeah. happened in Cyrus' time. Yeah. Yeah. So go ahead, bro. All right. This is uh, Daniel 7 and verse 6. It says, After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard which had upon the back of it four wings of a plow. Now who was the leopard? That was the, uh, uh, uh Greece. Uh, Alexander, Alexander, yeah, Alexander the Greece. the Great. The leopard was Alexander the Great, right? Yeah. Now I'm finna pull this from the uh, Compact Bible Dictionary. Come. Right? Open, my page ain't gone. Huh? Uh, what's up, Bob? Now, when you go into secular history, secular history, and brother, hold on, deck first Maccabees. You go into secular history, you can read about Alexander the Greek, who wore a leopard, a leopard skin warhead, a leopard skin warhead, 
war helmet, right? Let's see if I can try to find it. Bear with me. Okay, so. Gentlemen. It said Alexander the Great, son of Philip, King of Ma Macedon, Macedon, King of Macedon, Macedon. Macedon. Yeah, yeah, Olymp sorry. Olympics, and it, what they say, people, the people. No, it said, um, born in 356 BC, although not named in the Bible. <laughs> He is described prophet, prophet, prophetically yeah. in Daniel the Hebrew. Right, which mm. that's, that's in Daniel the eighth chapter, right? right? It describes him as the as the he go in Daniel the eighth chapter. Yep. Right? Yeah, that but, one. Go ahead. I just said that one knows that name that name in the Bible. In the first Mac Greece. Okay. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to first Maccabee. I was trying to see if he said anything in here about him uh, as a leopard in um, Daniel 7 chapter. But this is what it says, right? So uh it says, although not named in the Bible, he is described prophetically in Daniel, which they lie, he is named in the Bible. Mm -hmm. He named in the Apocrypha, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. It says he is described prophetically in Daniel that he go from the west with a notable horn between his eyes. He came against the ram with two horns, which was standing before the river, defeated the ram and became very great until the great horn was broken. And four notable ones came up from it. The prophecy identifies the ram as the kings of Media and Persia. The goat as the king of Greece. The great horn being the first king. Man. So it says, it names of, I'm going to read it again. It says, he came against the ram with two horns, which was standing before the river, defeated the ram and became very great until the great horn was broken. That great horn is talking about the Medio Persia Empire. Oh. Okay. That's what it say. It said, the prophecy identifies the ram as the kings of Media and Persia, the goat as the king of Greece. Now, who was the king of Greece? Let's go to 1 Maccabees. Yep. 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 1. And it happened after that Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, had smitten Darius, king of the Persians and Medes, that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. The first over Greece. So the first king over Greece was Alexander the Great. Come. All right? So that's who that leopard is talking about, man. Because that that empire took down the medial Persian Empire, which you can go in the eighth chapter, and it goes into it a little bit more. That's what they got in the Son of the Compact Bible Dictionary. We're not going to go to the eighth chapter. We're going to stay in the seventh. If you want to read it for yourself, read it for yourself from Daniel the 8th chapter. Now let's go back to Daniel the 7th chapter. Keep the whole that Maccabees on deck though, because we're going to come back to that. All right, this is Daniel 7 and 7. After this, I saw in the night visions. Start back and read 6 again. Okay, read it. Daniel 7 and 6. And after this, I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads and dominion was given to it. Right, so those four heads, who were they? What were those four, what was those four heads? Uh, Ptolemy. The, the, four, the four generals. Yeah, four generals. Uh, Ptolemy, Lysimachus, uh, the 
Speak up, Aki. Yeah. Totally. Lost Americans, Cassandra, and uh, what was the other Seleucus. one? Seleucus. Not Seleucus. Um, Seleucus. That's it. Seleucus. Seleucus. Yeah. Seleucus. Yeah. Seleucus. Which the, 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 the two most powerful of those four was Ptolemy and Seleucus, mm -hmm. right? But you had Las Americas and Cassandra. These were all Edomites. Mm -hmm. Alexander was an Edomite. Huh. This was the beginning of the Edomites coming into power to conquer the fatness of the earth as prophesied in Genesis 25th chapter. Yep. Now, go to editions of Esther in the Apocrypha, yeah. 16 and 10. And then another brother give me Ezra's uh, 3 and 1, right? Because it said that he was the first to rule over uh, Greece, right? But he came out of Philip who? The Macedonian, yeah. right? Okay. Now give me a second. Uh, I mean, uh, this is an extra 16 and 10. You know this, where I said in, is this first? Is it is it first Kings? You know what I'm talking about? What, uh, Ag King Agag? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, go ahead. This is of Esther chapter 16, verse 10. For Amon, a Macedonian. Amon, y'all hear that? Come. Amon was what? Macedonian. Macedonian. A Macedonian. What was Philip? Macedonian. Macedonian. What was Alexander? A Macedonian. Uh, Macedonian. Is there a nationality in the Bible known as a Macedonian? I know. No. 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 The 18 nations, is there, a Mas no, is, there a, is, no, is there a nation known as Macedonians? No. no, no so no. now we got to figure out where did the Macedonians come from, right? Right, right, right. Okay, go ahead, keep reading. Start back at the top and keep reading. This is of Esther 16 to 10. For Amon, so like, for Amon, a Macedonian, the son of Amadatha, 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 being indeed a stranger from the Persian blood and far distant from our goodness, and as a stranger received of us. So they say he was a stranger from the Persian blood, so he wasn't a Persian. He wasn't a Persian. Yeah. See? Now we know who the Persians were. The Persians was Elon. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But Haman, who really is Haman, yeah. right? Haman. So we're going to go to, uh, go to, I'm, I'm going to find it for you. I think it's First Ezra, the third chapter. Uh -oh. Got it? Uh 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 uh. I was in Ezra. I thought you said Ezra. First Ezra, the third chapter. Three and one. Yep, three and one. This is uh First Ezra three and one. Now when Darius reigned, he made a great feast unto all his subjects and unto all his household and unto all the princes of Media and Persia and to all the governors and captains and lieutenants that were under him from India unto Ethiopia of 120 Salakia. Esther 3 and 1. Oh, Esther. Salakia. Okay. Esther 3 and 1. Go to Esther 3 and 1. This is the book of Esther. 3. Salak. Not addition to Esther. I'm going to addition to Esther. This is Esther 3 and 1. After these things did King uh, Ashurus promote Haman, the son of... Y'all hear the name? Haman. Haman. Yeah. Which in the Old Testament, he's identified as Haman. Haman. In the Apocrypha, it's saying Amon. Right? Oh, oh. Same person. Haman and Amon. Right? Amen. Go ahead. The son of Hamadite. Hamadite. Hamadatha. Hamadatha. The son of Hamadatha. That's the same thing he said in the Apocrypha, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how the Apocrypha not a part of the Bible? He said the same thing to same thing that it said in the Old Testament. Go ahead. Right, right. The Agite. The Agagite. The Agagite. Salakia. And advanced him and set his seat above all the princes. Now, it tells you that Haman was an Agagite here, right? But in the Apocrypha, it say he was a Macedonian. So, what nationality was the Agagites? You got it? All right. It's 4 Samuel 15 and 8. And he took Agad, the king of the Amalekites. Who? Who? Amalekites. Who? 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 King of who? The Amalekites. <laughs> oh, wait. Alive and utterly destroy all the people with the edge of the sword. Who is the Amalekites? The oh, wait, wait. Amalek. Who is the Amalekites? Huh? The chief tribe of uh, Edom. The chief, huh? the chief tribe of Esau. The chief tribe, the chief tribe of Esau. Yep. He was. Which, which he was 
Esau's what? Grandson. Grandson, yeah, grandson. Amalek was Esau's oh, grandson. grandson. Right, right. Right? Amalek. Now, where where is uh, Esau's lineage? Genesis. Genesis, the 36th yeah. chapter. 36. 36. Genesis, the 36th chapter. Right? <laughs> So how you see how you see how you identify who the wicked is? Right, yeah. right, right. You see why you, they want to take the apocrypha out of the Bible? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it, it makes sense now. So go ahead with that Genesis 36 to take it on home. <laughs> yeah. The Genesis 36 and 12. It said and Tim Timna was right, start up. If we want to know what we read, we need context. Uh, Genesis 36 and 8. Thus there Esau in Mount Seir. Thus dwell Esau in Mount, Mount Seir. Come. Esau is Edom. Esau is Edom. And, Go ahead. And these are the generation of Esau. And these are the generations of Esau. The father of the Edom, Edomites. The father, father of, of the Edomites. Edomites. Now you can jump down to the point. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 12. And Timnah was conquered by to Eliphaz, Esau's sons. And she built to Eliphaz Amlet. And she built to who? Eliphaz. 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 Amlet. Amalek. Amalek. So Amalek is the grandson of Esau Edom. Mm -hmm. Amalek, <laughs> that's who's Alexander the uh so-called Macedonian, yeah. Alexander the so-called Greek. Yeah. He should be Alexander the Amalekite. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's his nationality. Yeah. Alexander the Edomite. All right? The fatness of the earth. That's when they begin to obtain the fatness of the earth. Alexander conquered uh, lands within a two million mile square radius uh, along the Mesopotamia, the Mediterranean, from Egypt to Northwest India. Huh. They say he didn't put his sword down. No, what, what's the saying? He, he said he never put his sword, sword down. down. For a second or something like that. For a, he didn't put his sword down for a second. Yeah. And he did that in a matter of twelve. He did that in a matter of twelve, twelve to thirteen years. Woo! He only reigned from the age of twenty to 32, 33, something like that. So it's a pistol. Right. And that's a lot within that short time. Man. Oh, man. Yeah. But guess what? The Israelites still had favor with Alexander the Greek. Now, it wasn't until after Alexander the Greek died and his generals took over and split the empire, mm -hmm. which was a series of, of wars that lasted about 20 years. Look up the history of the Diadochi Wars. Those are the wars between Alexander's generals, which is more than just four generals. The four notable ones are Ptolemy, Seleucus, Lysimachus, and Cassander. Those were the last four. Now, when you go online and you look up, it's gonna tell you about Antigone, yeah. which nickname was One Eye. You're gonna hear about uh, Polypicon and certain different other generals, right? Uh, Antipater, right? Because Antipater was really Cassandra's father. Now, when you go into the Romans, Agrippa, goes back to Antipater, the Idumian. It tells you when you look it up, Antipater, the Idumian. And you can find it actually in the blue letter when you look up a grip. But we'll get to that when we get to the Roman Empire, Lord will. But I want to go to uh, the four generals. Go back to First Maccabees, right? Jump down. She had read what? Want to read verse one, right? Read two, three, uh, read, read through verse four. First Maccabees chapter one, verse two, and made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth and went through 
to the ends of the earth and took spoil, spoils of many nations. This is Alexander's uh, campaign. Go ahead. And so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. Go ahead. And he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. Right, so he had all these nations around him playing tribute to him, right? Because he had conquered and ultimately he was the superpower in the earth at the time. Go ahead. Uh, that? Yeah. yeah. Verse five. And after these things he fell sick and perceived that he should die. And then he died. Now jump down to verse 10. Now this is what happened after he died. First Maccabees 1 and 10. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus. What is it say in 9? Start at 9. Alexander reigned 12 years. He said he reigned 12 years. And then he died. And then he died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Now according to the Son of the Comeback Bible Dictionary, Alexander's not mentioned in the Bible. But here it is, we're reading a pretty good thorough history on Alexander. Right? Yeah. Now read that last part again. First Maccabees 1 and 8. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. Those are those four noble ones, right? Which, like I said, is some history leading up into them four notable ones actually getting uh, solidified in their position. Because they split Alexander's empire, right? Now, what happened was Ptolemy and Seleucus took the vast control of the empire. The Ptolemies took over Egypt took the southern part of Alexander's kingdom. Seleucid took over Babylon, all right? Took over Babylon, which is the northern part of Alexander's kingdom. Now we were in captivity under both the Ptolemies and the Seleucids, but it was different how they dealt with us. Seleucid was the most wicked of the two. Ptolemy was wicked too, but Seleucid was on our ass. And Seleucus produced uh, Antiochus. That's who Antiochus came out of. Seleucus is who we're going to read about, and then we're going to move on. Verse 9. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them many years. And evil. So did their sons after them. So Anti uh, Antiochus, which is how they say it, we say Antiochus, right? <clears throat> Antiochus came out of Seleucia. He was a, a descendant of Seleucia. Go uh -huh. ahead. And evils were multiplied in the earth. What happened? And, and evils were multiplied in the earth. And evils was multiplied in the earth. Yeah. So what they say when the wicked, uh, when the wicked come into authority, right? Uh, wicked, the uh, evils are multiplied in the earth. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead, go ahead, huh? I can wait. Yo, this Proverbs twenty nine and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Come. But when the wicked bear rule, the people, people mourn. mourn. Wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to jump to 16. Go ahead. Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increase. Mm. Mm. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increase, man. Come. But the righteous shall see their fall. But the righteous shall see, see their fall. Man. Man. Yeah. So these were Edomites. We're no damn Greeks, these were Edomites. <laughs> because the original Greeks was Jaffa. Right, right, ja right. Well, they say Javon, come, right? Come, come. Those are what the Greeks. Yep. No? Come, come, come. What you say? The two brothers, the two brothers that were raised by wolves and shit. They oh, oh, yeah. Romulus and Remus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah Romulus and Remus. Right, right. right, right. Because that's the, the original Greeks was Jaffa, man. Right, right. So they was taken over by the Edomites. Right, right. right. Could you read verse 11? Okay, go ahead. Verse 10. And there came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. So the wicked root 
out of all those uh, generals was Antiochus or Antiochus. Because that's Antiochus the fourth, right? Because those are just titles. So if you ever go into the history, you're going to see Antiochus this, Antiochus that, which is going to go back to Seleucid. And you keep going to the, uh, you, got, you got predecessors and you got successors. So if you click on, when you go on the Google, you click on the predecessors, it's going to keep taking you back, keep taking you back, and eventually you're going to get to Seleucids, mm. right? So that's the Greek Empire, which were Edomites. So it only makes sense. When you go to the prophecies about Esau obtaining the fatness of the earth by the means of what? The sword. The sword. 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 The sword. They go back to his blessings. They go back to his blessing, right? And guess what? Alexander the Greek had had uh, 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 prophets that told him who he was according to the scriptures, man. Aristotle. So the Most High was with him, going back to Daniel four and seventeen. The basis of men, the Lord get a kingdom to whoever he, he, he may have. Yeah, yeah. And he set it up over it, the basis of men. These were base men that came up, man. Build up the Macedonian was low level, man. You know, so you go up to that uh, region of Macedon, that's a small region where they, uh, where they was at, man. And they conquered from out of Macedon all of that all of that uh, region around the Mesopotamia, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mesopotamia, right? In the Mediterranean Sea. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to Daniel 7. What time is it? Uh, 6.28. Yeah. 6.28. Yeah. Hey, so we'll, Lord willing, we'll get, we'll get into uh, the Romans fully next week. So I'm going I'm to touch on it a little bit and we're going to wrap up. All right, this Daniel. Your, you had brothers had some? Yeah, I did. Go ahead. This is uh, Psalms uh, 75 and 6. It says, For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But the Most High is the judge. He put it down one and set it up another. Right. He put it down one and set it up another. So all these different kingdoms that were set up on the earth that reign, right, the Lord had their days numbered. He had a time for him to come into power and he had a time for him to fall. Just like he got set for Esau Edom. Once they see his days are determined, the Lord has set his bounds that he cannot pass. Yes, right? So that's only a certain amount of uh, wickedness that's going to be done in the earth before the Lord takes him out of the way. <laughs> going, back to second De going back to 2 yeah. Thessalonians. Yeah. Only he that will uh only he that will let, you know. Go ahead. Uh, Daniel 7. Verse 7, it says, After this I saw in the night visions, and, beh and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly. And it had, and it had great iron teeth. And it had great iron teeth, right? This is the Roman Empire. Now I had put an article on uh, what's out today. I'm about to read it real quick, right? Yeah. Lord willing, we'll finish this up next week. But I want to just touch on this article. I'm going to get the main point out of it real quick. This is from study.com. And it says, The Iron Age in the Roman Empire. History and Conquest. Jump down to the main point. It says the Roman Iron Age began long before Rome became an international empire, but it was partly thanks to iron weapons mm -hmm. that the Roman military was so effective. Of course, it was iron in the hands of Rome's enemies that led to its downfall. How's that for ironic? Man. Y'all catch that? Yeah, ironic, man. Now, what the scriptures say in uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, what I called for early. The thing that hath been is that, that which shall, shall be. be. And there's no, no new thing, thing under, under the, the sun. sun. What is America, what is what is what of, one of America's number one exports? Iron, steel. Uh, yeah, yeah. America's known for steel. Steel is a what? Uh, 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 comes from iron. Right? Same, same family. You 
got one of the biggest steel plants in the world, I think, up in Indiana. You got Newport Steel down here. Yeah, yeah. So steel is one of the major um, exports. That's like one of the last things that America actually makes money off of. Right. Export-wise. Right, right, right. So steel. But it's a that you got some. No, I was just just looking at the prophecy of Dane, the second chapter. What about what it's saying, right? Yeah, the toes of the feet. The toes and the feet, mm -hmm. and how it's gonna fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gonna we gonna get into it later. I'm I'm, I'm gonna yeah. try to wrap it up so we can go or will and get into it next week. You know. But uh, I just wanted to point that out because going back to the sword, right? Going back to the sword, which iron is real cheap, so it's easy to uh, uh, get a lot of abundance of it, right? But the Lord ultimately put that technology in their hand so that they can be built up into this great empire, so ultimately he can do what? Tear them down. Yeah, right. Give me second uh, Samuel 2 and 8. Okay. You got a precept? Go ahead. Go ahead. Daniel 2, I'm gonna just read 40. Go ahead. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron break it in pieces and subdue all things, and as iron that break it mm -hmm. all these shall it break in pieces and bruise. Iron sharp and iron, iron break iron. Yep. Right? Because you look at how America gonna go out. <laughs> Thermonuclear Nuclear yep. right. That's right. right. That's right. And who? Has missiles, everybody. Yep. Everybody got it. Yep. So he gonna go out by the work of his own, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. That's right. You see? Yep. Say hey, man, you can't you can't make this stuff up, man. So it's gotta be it's gotta be the Lord working with us to be able to go into these things and yep. break them down and, and, and make it plain for you. Thanks. You no. Know? Said brother got second Samuel two and eight. Two and eight. We'll we'll close on that. Who, who else got something? I, I didn't finish it. So Go ahead. Uh, this uh Daniel seven and seven it says, uh you want me to start from the top and finish it off? I can't read this. Uh start from the top and finish it off. Alright. Daniel seven and seven. So After one, this I saw in the night vision, and behold, a four beast uh, dreadful uh, and terrible uh, and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth. It devoured it the name and it break in pieces. Oh, okay. It stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from Person. all the beasts that were before it. Oh, and it had Person. ten horns. Now, what made this? What made this beast diverse from all the other beasts before it? What was? What was it that was so different about the Roman Empire? This, that's the beast that we're talking about, right? What was so different about the Roman Empire mm -hmm. than all the other empires? Uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, the system just it, like uh, it went from like uh, what you it's, call it's that? The style of government, yeah, right? Yeah, the style of government. What, 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 so what style of government was it? Like uh, what you call that? Uh, damn, like a democracy or something? Like yeah. a democracy, yeah, yeah. right? Which is the same type of system that we in now, right? Because all the other, the, all the other kingdoms had a what? Uh, a like monarchy. Monarchy. They yeah. had a king. The king. Right? Yeah. But they had, uh, the Roman Empire had what you call Senate. Yeah. They had the plebeians and patricians, just like they got the Romans. Right. I mean, that's like they got the Republicans and the Democrats here today. Right. So it's the same system. Right. It's gonna right? Yeah. This, this is the Roman Empire yeah. all over again, man. Yeah. It's going to morph into a. So its style of government is what made it diverse from all the other kingdoms. Because the, all the other kingdoms was ruled like a kingdom should be ruled. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The king. Right, right. The monarchy, you know. Yeah, you want me to get that? The Senate. Go ahead. This post Maccabees 8, um, started 15. <clears throat> Moreover, how they had made for themselves a Senate house. They mm. made for themselves a Senate house. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> See, the same thing we got now. Same thing, same thing. Same thing. Same thing. See, everything, this, this ain't nothing but a mirror image of the Roman Empire. And that's why when you go into Revelation, they talk about that beast whose deadly wound was healed. That's uh, the Roman Empire, right? Right, right? Because we know that these beasts 
I'm talking about kingdoms and kings. Jump down to, jump down to uh, Daniel 7. I think it's nine. Let's say these four beasts are four kings. Go ahead. Uh, first Maccabees 8 and 15 were well, over how they had made for themselves a sin of house wherein they, it said wherein 300 and 20 men sat in council daily consulted always for the people to the end that they may be well ordered and that they committed the so they had council daily that's the same thing they do here today yep. every day you can go on CNN and see yep. the different councils that the different senate houses have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. go ahead bro they, they got um Passed, the law got on, uh, like bills got to be passed through the uh, oh, Senate, Senate and, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. boys keep speaking. Huh? It say um, huh. 16, and they, and that they committed the government to one man every year, a president. President. It said who ruled over all that country, and that all were obedient to that one, and that there was, and that there was neither envy nor emulation among them. Yeah. Yeah. Just, hey, it's just wrong 2.0. Yep. All over again, man. Right. You got to uh, teach us the moments, uh, numerals, numerals in, in, in the system. Mm -hmm. So this, this is what it is, man. Yeah. Yeah, like the brother brought up with the uh, uh, no new thing under the sun. Right, 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 right. right. We, we, we just, uh, uh, Esau just trying to push that same vibration back in the earth again, man. Okay. He's he doing the same thing. Yeah. Same thing over again. Right, right, yep, yep. Right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll get this, uh, brother called for, uh, was it, was it Simone? Yeah, was it? Yeah. Yeah, he called for this, uh, Daniel. So it says, uh, this is Daniel 7 and 17. It says, these, these great beasts, which are four and four kings, we shall arise out, out of the earth, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom mm. and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. It's Daniel 1. Going back to Isaiah 45 and 17, right? 70, 70. So that's what it's all leading up to. It's all leading up to the nation of Israel, uh, beginning with the elect, getting the, uh, the rulership of the earth. Going back to the prophecy in uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, second Ezra, uh, 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 six, six yep. right? So all these things revolve around Jacob and Esau. Huh. So we actually became, we actually came into the end when Alexander came into power, mm -hmm. right? And then we was at the end end when Yahweh Shah came on the scene. Yep. Now we in the end of the end of the end mm -hmm. because we at the actual end of this man he's not gonna ever again uh get back to that power right right you know right. america's not gonna be great again none of that no. that's right america's on life support right now that's right i hate to destroy your crowd yeah. huh. <laughs> it's about to be over with man okay Oh, I had to hit yep. no, yeah. You yeah. had to chime on that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call all your house. Shot. And so we gonna end on uh, unless brothers got something. You know, brother got something. Yeah, first Samuel. That's what we gonna end on. Okay. Uh, start in uh, eight. Come. This is First Samuel, chapter two and eight. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lift up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit. The throne of glory. That's what happened with Esau either. Esau was in the Esau was in the dung hill. Esau was in the pits. Right? And the Lord got the spirit on me, man, to do a real beautiful lesson about Renaissance art Woo. and the teenage mutant ninja turtles. That's Woo. right. Uh. Bro, Lord willing, I, I I put it together tomorrow, bro. But uh the truth was told. In jest. Yeah. What's a sewer? <laughs> you know, that's that's where shit go, you know, like. That's a pit. Yeah, a pit, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, that's cold. Yeah.
Cold. Yeah. Damn. Let me in on Cold, that. Cold, yeah. Hey, this first seven. Yeah. <laughs> this first seven, two and eight. He raising up the poor out of the dust and lifting up the beggar from the dung hill uh -huh. to set them among princes. To set them among princes. Now, who are the princes? Give me Ecclesiastes 10 and 6 real quick, uh, for like, bro, since you me. Who are the princes? <laughs> What's, what Israel mean? Yasharala. Yasharala. Yeah, Prince of Power. Yeah, yeah, Yasharala. 10 and 6. Yep. Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Polly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. Go ahead. I have seen service upon horses. I have seen service upon horses. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. So that's, that's, uh, Israel, man. Israel is the true princess walking as servants upon the earth. Yep. But he brought up the true servant, the, true, the basis of men, the lords of low, and let them uh, walk amongst the princes, man. Yep. Walk like kings, man. Yep. You can find that on uh, statue. Uh, what's that? Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt. Yeah. Yep. 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 Got got the Northern Kingdom on one side, got Gad on one side, yep. and got uh, Judah on the other side, the Southern Kingdom, man, chained up yep. while he riding the horse. horse. Yep. Theodore Roosevelt. Yep. Yep. The statue up, uh, just just Google the statue of Theodore Roosevelt. Yep. Yep. Cause that horse represents power. Man. That horse represents power, and that's why he known as the Red Horse. Yep. Right? Go ahead. Back in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2 and 8, reading on, and to make uh, uh, from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's Yahweh by Shimei Shah. For the pillars of the earth, go ahead. Are the Lord's Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Mm -hmm. And he has set the world upon them. Uh -huh. Verse 9. He will keep the feet of his saints. He will keep the feet of his saints. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness. The wicked shall be silent. Right. <laughs> in darkness, go ahead. For by strength shall no man prevail. For by strength shall no man prevail, man. Guns, right. So Esau Edom, he's under the impression, America's under the impression that they're going to obtain and uh, keep the kingdom and uh, uh, keep the rulership of the earth by his military might. Right. They're sadly mistaken. The Lord said, by strength shall no man prevail. That's right. right. Your military, your Marines, your Space Force, your Air Force, your Army, your Coast Guard don't mean shit. That's right. Because the Lord going to make all that shit uh, turn into smoke. That's right. Go ahead. Verse 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken to pieces. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken, broken to pieces. pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. What did it say in Daniel about the iron? Ooh. It break in pieces. Yeah. Huh. The Lord gonna cause it to break in pieces, man. Go ahead. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the th his horn of his anointed. That's it, man. Yeah. His true anointing. Right. Right? Which is Israel pertaining to what's that, uh, Isaiah, is that Isaiah 44? No, Israel is anointed. So that's what it's all leading up to, man. You know? The prophecy is all really about the destruction of the wicked Esau Edom and the deliverance of the nation of Israel starting with the elect, man. That's what it's all about, you know? So Lord will, you know, you will edify, we're gonna go close out, giving all praises, honor, and glory again, facing the east towards Jerusalem. Double honors again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Quorum Yasharala. Quorum Yasharala. Above, 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 above,